am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's start. I want to do a quick video on a subject matter that I saw yesterday that was kind of shocking to me. It was announced. I saw this on the WRAP, W-R-A-P, and I went on line and I did my research. So we're going to talk about uh, what happened. Again, this was with the WRAP.com is where I got the information from. That's my source. Uh, for this story, it, it stated that ABC had did some layoffs. ABC uh, fires the executive producer, uh, a lady by the name of Hillary Etsy Malaughlin. It says uh, ABC News layoff announced national correspondents and the View senior executive producer. And again, that is Hillary SD. And this was announced last Thursday, which was December the 4th. And I'm, I just want to read the statement to you all about uh, that was released by ABC. It says, the layoff that hit ABC News this week hit correspondents Marcy Gazellas, Clayton Sandale, Kyra Phillips, as well as senior producer Jean Marie Conan, David Reeder, and John Green, according to an individual with knowledge of the network. In addition, Hillary Etsy McLaughlin, who oversees the daytime programming like The View, was among those who got a pink slip as well. Others affected included correspondents, executive producers, and other executives who oversee functions like special events and new gatherings. Unfortunately, as we position ABC News for the future, we've made the difficult decision to reduce the size of our workforce in a few areas. This is from ABC News President James Gosten said in a Thursday memo to staff, as hard as this moment is for our colleagues, it is necessary as we adapt to changes in our business and how the company is organized by consolidating some functions and moving people into roles essential to our growth in the long term. I think also it's also uh, last month it was noted that Disney announced it was planning to lay off 32,000 employees, mostly from the theme park division in the first half of next year 2021 and as we know abc is owned by disney and i was shocked to hear this news and saddened at the same time because so many people it's and i know this is because of the pandemic that we are still currently in is the reason why these big decision had to be made by Mr. Golden Ghostin of ABC, who is the news president. Uh, but again, it's just sad. And you got national correspondents and executive producer and all of these people, as well as stated last month, uh, they're going to be laying off over 32,000 people basically from the theme park as we know Disney World where many families normally go all throughout the year to have celebration and their children be able to experience Disney World but this is just where we are with this pandemic it's not safe for any of us when you got top executive people of that magnitude in that in those levels that are having to lay people off, fire people, release people, give pink slips and all of this, it truly lets us know we are in dire times and no one is exactly sure what will be taking place as we prepare to go into 2021 because we know since March of this year, we have been in a pandemic all because of coronavirus short term known as COVID-19 that has ran rapid and is continuing to run rapid. 
so many American lives, over 270,000 American lives have died. People are dying every day. Still, there are so many people without a job, can't pay their bills, can't pay their mortgage, can't feed their families. And we are approaching Christmas in just a few days, less than about two weeks. And then we have top people like Hillary from The View, the executive, senior executive producer from The View has basically been given a pink slip by our terminated, laid off, let go from her job. We can only just pray and hope that things get better, pray and hope that things get better soon for all of us because this pandemic has really been a very experiencing year of trials, tribulation, but we have to be grateful because in all things we must give thanks and in all things you have to look for something good. For those of us that are still here, that means God has a divine plan. So I can only hope that things get better for all people involved with ABC News, the affiliation, Disney affiliation. I would love one day to be an employee there myself. So I'm just praying that 2021 will, as we know, it's going to offer some challenges because we are still in the pandemic. We're in the month of December. Uh, it, pretty soon, January will be here. So therefore, it will be a new year. And then by March, it will be a year that we have been in this pandemic. And we're hoping that it will soon end, that we can finally have true relief true comfort and hopefully we can go back to where people will have better lives people will have jobs security where they won't have to be living day to day moment to moment in fear in fear of losing a family member in fear of not having a roof over their head fear of not being able to feed support them their families or themselves so it is our prayer it is my prayer it is my hope and I know God is with us and he promised in his word he will put no more on us than we can bear so we have to be vigilantly and having faith and just know that better days are coming because our ladder shall be greater but we have to realize we are in a pandemic and if we just do what the CDC guidelines and professionals are asking us and that is to practice social distancing when you are out in a crowd, please try to practice social distance as much as possible. And if you are out in a crowd, anytime you're not in the comfort of your own home, you are asked to please adhere to wearing a face mask. And that face mask should be covered over your nose and mouth, not with your nose. I often see so many people that do have the mask on, but they're not properly wearing the mask. So I need us to make sure we adhere to the guidelines if you're out in public practice social distance wear a mask wash your hands more frequently than we normally do and just be more thoughtful to others be more kinder to one another because everybody is facing a battle because this pandemic has affected every person every man woman boy girl child regardless of race Regardless of whether you rich or poor or in the middle, regardless of your religion, gender, sexual preference, and all of that, it has no respect to person. It has no respect to person. So we have to make sure that everyone, each one of us, are doing our part to keep ourselves, our families, our friends, our fellow citizens, just practice being more safer and cautious and kinder and sharing love and hopefully 2021 will be a better year than 2020 uh, again i just want to come on again and, and share and have a conversation about finding out the news that abc had did some layoffs and as it was announced last month they're expecting to do a major and significant layoff in their theme park. So let's just be mindful of what's going on 
and most of all, let's be a country and a people that's praying for a better day, a better life, a better country for all of us in these United States of America. May God bless us all. Thank you so much. I am LaMarcia Lewis. Let's talk.